Hello everyone, so this is a quick tutorial about how to uh, spin coat the SU8 and prepare it for the fabrication of some microfluidic channels. So the first step um, in the fabrication is to clean the substrate. So as a substrate, here we will be using a simple uh, standard microscope glass slide, so that's a 25 by 75 millimeter glass slide um, that comes out straight out of uh, a packet like this. And the first step um, that we need to do is to uh, clean it. So uh, this is sitting inside the box right now, so it's going to have uh, fibers from the paper separators that are inside the box, and we don't know how it's been cleaned all together. So uh, we'll take one out. Uh, for now, we can use just fingers um, in this first step. So we can take out one glass slide, and then uh, we hold it with a pair of tweezers, and we give it a quick rinse um, with acetone. Before we do that, I'm going to fill up um, this glass staining jar and this is going to be useful um, to slot in the glass slide this way and um, it's particularly useful if we are preparing more than one sample at once. So I'm going to fill this staining jar with acetone and the cleaning step is, is really very simple so this is to get rid of some very basic organic contaminants and dust generally uh, from the surface of the sample so we'll be just uh, rinsing it with acetone and isopropanol afterwards. So I'm going to pick up the glass slide here. I'm going to give it a quick rinse with an acetone wash bottle. Both sides thoroughly and generously. And then I'm going to slide it into one of the grooves of the staining jar. Okay? Okay, so now I'm going to close the staining jar and take it over and bring it to the sonicator. I'm going to leave it here to sonicate, so I'm going to turn on the sonicator. And I'm going to sonicate it for five minutes. Okay, I'm going to press the start button and that's going to start sonicating. Okay, so this has now been sonicating in acetone for five minutes. This is now done, so I can take it out and bring it back to the fume pool. So now we're gonna repeat the same exact procedure with isopropanol. So I'm gonna fill uh, up this staining jar with isopropanol. Close to the brim, so it covers the whole glass slide. Take it out. I'm going to give it a quick rinse with uh, acetone and isopropanol on both sides. Just a quick rinse and the same with isopropanol. And now I'm going to put it into the second staining jar. Put the lid on and bring it back to the sonicator. And here we start sonicating for another five minutes. Okay, so this has now been sonicating for five minutes in isopropanol, so I'm gonna take it out and bring it back to the fume hood. And we are now done with the rinsing and washing with the solvent. So I'm gonna take the glass slide out of the staining jar and rinse it quickly with isopropanol on both sides. And now we can blow dry the glass slide with uh, an air gun. So we pick up the air gun and we can blow, you can put it on a clean, clean room wipe and then you can blow it dry from the top by blowing on the top surface. Be careful not to go past the edges here so the motion within the area of the glass slide is okay, but if you go past the edge, you will start to move the, the glass slide around or it might also fly off. So we're gonna leave it there. And from this moment on in the whole fabrication, we have a glass slide which has two sides. We have a, a good side, which is the clean side, which is now facing the top. 
and then we have the bottom side which uh, over time will uh, during the different processing step might get dirty but the only surface that we really care about is the top surface so we need to make sure that this top surface doesn't come in contact with any type of contamination so um, we can pick up the glass slide you can always handle it by the edges quite easily and we put it onto a hot plate at uh, 200 degrees I'm not sure if you can see that uh, but we put it on hot plate for 200 at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes so I'm gonna start the timer now uh, and we leave it there for 10 minutes and this is called a water desorption step so um, because there's moisture in the air uh, the, the water molecules from the air will absorb on pretty much any surface that is uh, that it sits in air. So uh, this step ensures that we get this water off the surface. So um, the exact temperature is not uh, particularly critical as long as it's above say 100 to 150 degrees. So we put it at 200 degrees for 10 minutes and this gives plenty of time for the water to dissolve from the surface. And this will improve the adhesion of the photoresist which we will spin coat on top of the sample in the next step.